All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Another giveaway at Auto sent out their P9 radio. It's an on dash radio. They have some pretty cool things. In this video, you'll see me set it up. Uh, about halfway through the video, you'll see me set it up. And then at the end, I'll tell you how to win it in the giveaway. So stay tuned for that and let's get to the video. All right, good morning, guys. It is about 9.30 a.m. We're headed to pick up my nephew and go check out a Grand Caravan, which is not charging. They say they can drive it to their next destination and shut it off and then it dies. And apparently the battery's not that old. So we'll go, we'll go check that out. But we also need to go get gas, which is not my favorite thing to do. We again are running on fumes. So we'll go take care of that. The local casino does 20 cents off on Wednesdays. So we'll go check out their gas prices and see how much it takes to fill it up from empty. So, all right, let's pick up my nephew and we'll head over to the gas station. station then go check out that job so we'll see you guys over there all right guys we have made it fumes to spare it's the roadrunner express at the saboba casino Seventy-eight here. It's cheaper than what we were getting in town. I think it's three ninety-nine at the cheapest one. It's four nineteen at the Seven Eleven I normally go to. So. Let's see. Alright, let's get this. $101. No, not really. You're Richard's friend at the dealership, right? What's that? Richard? Yeah. You're friends with him? I think I I looked at this one time. Car, dude. Yeah. What was your name again? Robert. Robert, I'm Eric. Nice oh! You. you worked on this, didn't you? You looked uh, at the Jeep one time. I looked I looked at your radio and yeah, everything yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they but, replaced the radio and all that. Yeah, I, I wasn't there to replace any of it. But, oh, no. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. I didn't even recognize you until you said something about Richard and I remembered the radio wasn't working properly yep. on this and you put your little scanning tool plugged it into yep. my OBD and yep. so this is all you're doing now? Yep, just mobile. I do, I do all kinds of repairs but I usually don't do oil changes because you know they, they don't really make enough. It's not yeah. and it, it's how do I charge you my mobile minimum. But like if uh, like brakes, you'll, yeah. you'll come out and do brakes. Oh, we too? do brakes, we do suspension, we do all kinds of things like that, just not oil changes. I won't do head gaskets, I won't do engines, transmissions, mobile, but yeah, um, yeah. What about uh, like on one of my other trucks, we had to replace the steering pump? Yeah, oh, yeah, 
you could do stuff. Yeah, power steering pumps, gearboxes, track bars, um, alternators, water pumps, all kinds of stuff right, like Robert, that. I'll, I'll give you a call. Yeah, you gave him oh, he, yeah, I gave him one. How many? Is it just you and this one truck? Yeah. I live right down the street, dude. But yeah, yeah. I got a guy. I'm out here in Val Vista. I go to Yucaipa, and sometimes it's kind of a hassle trying to figure out how we're getting vehicles over there. Yeah. I, you know, I could just yeah. have you come to the house. Yeah. How about an oil change on a RV? No, you, uh, you don't that, make enough money. I mean, if I'm yeah. there doing something else, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. If I'm already yeah. there, you know, doing this. I'm just looking at it as like time-wise. I mean, I've done it before, but sometimes it's, if I'm so yeah. busy, it's I'd rather just pay somebody. It, You've got fuel and overhead. And, yeah. yeah. So do you, will you, if like, if I pay you to do the motorhome, will you do all the Zerk fittings too? Yeah. Yeah. As Good. long as you request it, I'll do it. Yeah, you know, I don't care paying you 145, 150 bucks. I don't care yeah. for me. Oh, we'll stay at 125. <laughs> it's me not having to get underneath the thing and I yep. can be on the phone making money or yeah, doing exactly. whatever. Dude, I'll call you because yep. we're doing a trip okay. to Colorado in the motorhome. Okay. And I need the oil change. I got all the filter. All right. fil I have all of it. Okay. And I'll go buy five gallons. It takes five gallons of oil. Yeah. So, I mean, shit, dude, I don't have a I'll call you, Robert. All right, cool. That's, I'm glad I ran into you, yep, dude. Yeah, for sure. All right, brother. All right. All right, let's roll. Yeah, I've looked at that Jeep before. Jeep was nice. It was cool to run into them, but yeah, we still paid a hundred bucks for fuel, so that's that's fine. That's that's part of the whole deal. Um, you know, fueling up the truck and you know, the, the truck's not the most efficient, but it holds a ton of tools, welder, all kinds of things. So I'm happy. 100 bucks for fuel is not much considering you know we, we put that into the cost of our business which is the cost of doing business so all right we'll see you guys over at the grand caravan oh it's that van right there right, we're gonna turn around turn around Okay, let's try not to run into anybody or anything. The trash can. All right, let's go turn around. All right, we are pulling up to the job. We are in the city of San Jacinto. So not too far from us. All right. We're here, it's this Grand Caravan. Just don't want to block too much. All right, let's go. Right here, I'm gonna lock my door. You leave your door unlocked. Uh, the printer's already on. Grab the, grab the laptop out. How you doing, sir? Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I'm Robert. Nice to meet you, sir. Um, so what I'll need is I'll need to write it up and then I'll have you sign it, then I can work on it. Okay. So from what I'm understanding is you could jump it and it'll drive around and run. Yeah. And then when you stop, when you stop, starts. we had it. Oh man, we've had a few mechanics look at it. Okay. And we took it to get a diagnostic test, mm -hmm. but he he charged because he just looked at it. Then he uh -huh. goes, I got to put it on the machine. And I was like, dude, that's what you're supposed to do in the first place. Yeah. He goes, you can't do that. And I was like, what are you talking about? Because hmm. I had to get in there and he said it could be a couple of things. But yeah, you put the jumper on, like just a little more juice and it kicks over. Okay. Yeah, I've got a couple of jump starters and all that. So I'll we'll- my mom because it's her car. Okay. She can sign and- Well, I'll get it printed up and then I'll come up to the door so she doesn't have to walk out here. Or? Okay, I'll, I'll let her know. All let right. Her know here. Okay. My wife took a magic eraser to all of this. It looks a million times better. All the, you know, the hand prints and all that. So, well, I think we're gonna paint that again. All right, we're gonna print this one out. Might take a minute. Oh, I keep forgetting to put ink in that. 
I've got spare inks too. Nice, oh, missing the tire on the back. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wasn't the last time that we drove by someone, he was like without any two wheel? Yeah, he was missing tires on both wheels. Yeah. <laughs> now this dude just won. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I just didn't put the seat on the other bike. Alright, you want to run that up to him, have him sign it? Yeah. I'm gonna miss this kid when he goes to school. So you're the apprentice, huh? Yeah. And then I, I also do YouTube videos. That's why the camera's on. Do you mind this being on here? No. We're here. Cool. Cool. Do you do you know much of this history of this vehicle? Man, I got the keys. You're okay. Only just started. The, well, it kicks over, man. Like, yeah. Well, I got a big jumper. We're gonna bring that over here and and start it. But, uh, but the it sounds like it wants to start, and then all of a sudden, but if you put the jump, then it'll start, dude. Okay. That's a weird key. Yeah, that stupid square thing just goes in the. Uh, this isn't an original key. No, they had it because the dude that came and worked on it the last time, he had said, oh, it's the key, and he programmed the computer, uh -huh. and it ran good for like a week, and then it started doing the same crap. Oh, cool. But it sounds like it wants to start. No, that's that up there. Stupid oh, thing. okay. I was like, uh, I hope the car's not making these sounds. <laughs> All right, let's see what it will do. Before you just come out here. Yeah. No worries. I got this. I got other jumpers too. Yeah. Which we should be using our other one. I forgot about it. That's only got nine volts in it. Ten volts. Ten ten one. Hopefully this battery doesn't have a dead cell in it. Yeah. It's a brand new battery, man. So, yeah, but if they get depleted so many times, yeah. they uh, I don't think it ever got really depleted because I'd come out and she'd come out and try to start it, yeah, because it would just sound like it wanted to kick over and just 10.2 means it's got a dead cell okay. or it's it's just dead, 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 but yeah. you know. Your alternator's charging. See if it can hold it is the question. Yeah, it can't even hold the charge is the problem. Well, it was before you took it to the freaking beginning. Well, I think what we really need to do is put a battery in it and then retest you got a battery or what? i don't i the don't have a battery, battery not too long, so I don't... did it you bought the battery because this issue okay yep. yeah because the way it looks is one of the cells is dead yeah um yeah it would come out and that was like even for a week you just come out here yeah. And I don't know what the hell if you mess with something or what. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's another big problem too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to tighten these up. So after you drive it for a while, does that battery light ever come on? The red light? I didn't think so. 
Is it, it's it's charging really good right now. It? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be doing good, like I said. Yeah. Before, it won't, and then all of a sudden, just a little more, and it jumps. Yeah. And that guy said, well, something's draining your battery. Well, you know, that's why we wanted to get the diagnostic. He goes, well, I can't put it on the machine. I had to check some stuff out. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's the, the battery showing it has a dead cell. Yeah. Because each, each cell is 2.1 volts, and you're supposed to have 12.6 on a fully charged battery. Yeah. So, now you, you got 2.1 missing, for sure. It doesn't make sense because she bought that battery brand new because of that. It's, so, like, dead cell, you think? Let me hop out of this real quick. Yeah, I think the battery's definitely got something going on with it. No, they're, these ones aren't the greatest. Sometimes they have problems with them, but like even right now, the alternator's charging fine. Even with the headlights on, high beams on, the blower's on, the brake light's on and turning, it's not dying. Frickin' B. They'll lean over sometimes. Can I get out of here, B? <laughs> I know when you're like that, the B was like, and I thought the B, that they grabbed the B. I was like, oh. <laughs> that would suck. Sounds like a battery issue. So it's like the battery acts like it's got a dead cell or it does. I'll look in there and see if it's here. What we're gonna do is I'll turn this off. I'll turn. Oh, they tested it at a writings? Yeah. They said it was good or what? That was after you drove it there though. Right? Or did you take it out and See, it, it already dropped down. It can't hold the charge. Yeah, so that's what it's been doing. Let me look in the thing. Okay, I'll call you back. I'll let you know what's going on. But um, I'll look and see. All right. I can show you right here. No, you know, we, we had it running for a little while. I'm not a mechanic. Okay, so yeah, but I mean, at least this is showing. because yeah, I have, like, nephew gave me one of those things to test the battery. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, right now that battery, it, it's not able to hold the charge so it I'll, I'll hit unlock for you yeah so normally what it would do is after we ran it for that 10 minutes right there it should still be at 12.0 12.1 something like that but it can't even hold the charge i was thinking maybe in there yeah it might be. and de definitely we can't do anything when the battery's at 10 volts there's no way we can test anything so is it because I we don't even have a vehicle right now? I'm gonna have to see how we're gonna get that sucker down to Walmart. And I can jump it right now. And you can drive it. Just don't shut it off. When you get there, pull up to their bay doors. You, yeah. What if they're busy? You know, I have to sit there and wait. I mean, I, I don't know what else we can do with that. Yeah. And you don't want to have to, how far are you from here to come back if you had to? Oh, it's not far to come back. I'm I'm in Hemet. Oh, you're in Hemet? Yeah. So it's not going to be a charge to come out, or are you going to charge for what you're just coming out and saying? I, it needs I'll charge move? right now, and then if it keeps doing it, I'll come back out, and I'll look at it again for nothing. 
Yeah, but what if, I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're gonna charge, how much are you gonna charge right now? I charge my diagnostic rate to come out. I know, but you didn't diagnose nothing. You just, I, well, you just looked because this I just thing, diagnosed it right now. It needs yeah. a battery to start. I mean, what I could do is I could just take my stuff, not charge you anything, and then on the next repair, you just have the last guy come back and see if he'll help you out. No, yeah. I That's what I'm saying is I, I, I know what I'm doing, yeah. and I've diagnosed that you need a battery. You have one dead cell in that battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't diagnose anything else until that battery is replaced. I can, I, can, I can sell you a battery. I can go... AutoZone, buy you one, but you already have, an, that's the problem that we're having right here is you already have a warranty at Walmart, so why would you buy a battery from me? Yeah, that's exactly, that's what I'm saying. No, for sure, that's why I'm not selling you a battery. Yeah, that's yeah. why I would never, I'd never try to upsell you, you know, $350 in a battery right now. Yeah, yeah. But that, that's normally what it goes for, but you have a warranty, so you just need to figure out how you're going to get down to Walmart, replace it, and, you know, whether you drive it over there and you take some tools with you, and you know swap the battery in their parking lot and then you know in a couple days if it does it again then call me back and like i said i won't charge you to come back i'll charge for my initial my initial diagnostics i came out here i wasted my gas coming out here my time driving out here looking at it hooking up my jumper seeing we have a dead cell the battery cable was loose that's not never good because you no, never make it wasn't loose when i took it to that dude he because that, when she took it over there to the other yeah. guy, he was screwing with it, and it wasn't doing this before. I don't know if it was from jumping it every time that caused the battery to go bad. It could be jumping it every time, so, but it, it okay, could be. So you're gonna charge. So if you have to come back, I'm not charging you again. Again, okay. No, so, I'll charge you for my initial. And then you'll put it on the. But yeah, I get it because you've had multiple different people with your car, so and if once the battery is replaced, you'll be able to die put the thing. Once on the there. battery is replaced then i then i need you to tell me if it happens over the next couple of days if it does then i come back and i i will be able to diagnose it but if if I, if we replace it right now it's going to start every time and it's not going to deplete yeah by the time you come back it's probably going to cause another cell to go bad and then it no to... two of 24 is when it got to walmart so it should still be under warranty Oh, for sure. You have a three-year replacement on that battery. Yeah. That's why I'm not trying to sell you a battery because that. Well, let that, me see. Let me let her know, and then. Uh, you know, I could jump. I'm going to tell you it's going to do the same thing again. It was been. It's been doing this for quite a while. Now. Okay. She's been without a vehicle because every time the last guy he got it going. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I think probably when they replaced the battery, it ran for like a week, mm -hmm. and and then she didn't have no problems. And next thing you know, here we go again. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, the the only way I can further diagnose is having a new battery in there. And if okay. put a new battery in today, I'll come tomorrow morning. Okay. And I'll I'll do a draw test on it, oh. but I can't do a draw test on something that can't even hold a charge. Yeah, yeah. All so, right. I'll let uh, I'm gonna let my sister know too, cause maybe she could take me down there and freaking replace this battery. Either that or I jump it, you drive down there, you can change it in their parking lot. Yeah. And then you'll come back tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow morning. If you change that battery today, I'll come back tomorrow morning oh, for you. Change the day one way or the other. Okay. So we'll All right. Yeah. Yeah, that lady canceled, so we got time. You know what i'm gonna tell him he'll just pay me tomorrow because I, I don't want to deal with it right now i don't i don't i'm just gonna charge him tomorrow hey how about we do this how about we, so we have some trust in each other how about i just charge you tomorrow what? hey right, so here she the comes. wife is for today only and then there's gonna be an extra add-on or what no Okay. No. Hey, hey, baby. We're just we're just gonna do it tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're gonna put a battery today. I'll come back tomorrow morning. I'll do my draw test, and then we'll figure out if you have a draw or something. Okay. But that way, you know, we we can get this figured out. And that way. It, man. It's yeah. just been frustrating for. Oh, I know. Like, You've had. That new though. Yeah, so, it's, but it's still showing dead. Hey. It's, so you have in your battery, you have yeah. six six cells. That's what they call it six uh we'll just call it six water bottles 
and each water bottle holds 2.1 volts. It holds, you know, 2.1 ounces, we'll just call it. Okay. And so one of the, and that makes 12.6. So you have 12.6 ounces in your battery. It's the easiest way I can explain it. If one of them can't hold a charge, then it's empty. So you only have 10.4, 10.2 in your battery right now. And even when I start it and I run it and I rev it, get the alternator charging, you should still have at least 12, 12.1 that shows a dead battery, but it, it won't even go to that. It drops back down to 10 right away. So one of the water bottles is empty in there. So it needs to be replaced. There's no fixing it. it so we have to change the battery. And then when I come back tomorrow, I'm going to see if there's something draining your battery. Um, then I, I can't test anything until the battery's good. And I can't sell you a battery because that thing's new and you have a three year warranty. So it'd be wrong of me to sell you a battery when you already have a, a new battery that has warranty. Okay. So um, you guys will get it replaced today. Okay. I'll come back tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. That's okay? Yes. Okay. I'll come back tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. I'll do my diagnosis on it. And then, then we'll do the live. And then whatever we find, we'll talk about the repair price on that. But hopefully it's nothing. Hopefully we just had, you know, this battery's just bad from the start. Yeah. That's what we're hoping. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Well, every time, because we have a checker to check the battery, mm -hmm. and the battery was marking okay, huh? Yeah. Well, and that's what I said. It, where, where is it? I that That's it. after you shut it right off, right? Yeah. If no, you... Yeah, because no, she no, said... We started it right up. Yeah, but that's what you, you turned it off, you tested the battery, then you started it right up. Yeah, yeah. we already went through all that. We're yeah, I, I went through that with him, and I showed him that even if we charge it, and then I showed them on the meter, it drops right to 10.4, 10.2. It definitely has to be replaced. It may be good right when we shut it off because I was able to start it one time and then I let it run again and it wouldn't start again. So it can't hold the charge for very well, long. That's all right because the battery's free. So yep, the battery's free and I I want you guys yeah, to change that. Back tomorrow, then he can do all right, man. All right, cool. We'll all see right, you tomorrow morning. Um, have have your sister call me okay. tonight let me know that you changed it though okay okay or text have her text me okay. that way i see it yeah it'll get done and then i'll be here 8 a.m tomorrow all right man. all right bye, bye ma'am see you later i'm gonna uh, oh uh, let me give i gave you the keys right yeah yeah sure. i'm gonna shut the hood well you need it open because you're, you're gonna yeah, you'll be in there all right i'll see you tomorrow right. the jump back. yeah Just here. Yeah. Right. Oh man. Okay, so they're frustrated, made me frustrated. Um, you know, normally I'm very professional, but you know, some people don't understand what it takes to come out and do things and that's why I was explaining myself to them several times, and that's why I explained, you know, if they just want me to not charge anything and they can have their other guy come back, which they don't want. So I'm just going to come back tomorrow morning, trying to be fair with these people. I understand their frustration, but I also have a business to run. Thankfully, we're not far from home, and, you know, it didn't, didn't cost much in gas to get over here, so whatever. I'm just trying to, trying to be fair with everybody, but I have to run a business. So we are gonna go home and we'll just continue this video tomorrow. So uh, you'll see it like this. And just like that, the dream team is back. So we're here to look at that grand caravan again today. So let's get in there. They put a new battery. Let's do a draw test and see what's going on. Let's get in there. First thing I want to do is get the meter out. And let's see, let's test this meter out. This was a cheaper meter. That was like a hundred and something from Cornwell. This is 20 some dollars from Harbor Freight. So we're going to test this one today. You guys see what's better? Well, I blew my other one up. Okay. Yeah. The yeah, I blew that one up. That was funny. How are you this morning? Man, I didn't sleep good last night. No? 
Oh I, man. I get... Yep. Yeah, leave it connected on here. That way I can see what it's what it's at. Alright. Yeah, 12.4. Is that good? Yeah. Did you guys have them put it in there? You just went and grabbed one? Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is called a parasitic draw test. So what we need to do is like connect this underneath somehow. Yeah. And then connect it here and then pull it off and watch and see how many volts it reads. So let's grab some things to set that up. Hold that. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put our sign out. I cleaned out the truck. Three bags of trash later, and like 100 pounds of scrap metal. Yeah, it's not a lot, but it's enough. Oh, it's only going to be 106 today. That's it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Holy cow. Not yet. I'm going to try to get this underneath it real quick. Just don't ever let these two touch. Yep. You can let this touch anything. This can't touch anything else but itself. It can melt it. It'll complete the circuit and melt. No, not that happening. No. Not at all. That would be that'd be terrible. Mm. Or just melt the wire one of the two. Switch this over to here. So. Nothing. We don't ever touch that side. All right, so. And while we're doing this, we never turn the key, we never open the doors, we never none of that. Okay. Why, what happens if we do? It, it wakens the car up. 
You want the car sleeping? Yeah. Is this supposed to go down? Mm hmm So I think the thing went. What if it goes up? Um, stays up? That's not good. Is that 28 right now? Yeah. But we just woke it up. So we gotta let it go to sleep. Gonna let it sit there for a few minutes because that's a big draw. You see if it's going more down? Yeah. So what we have is a negative here connected to one lead and then we have the lead to the car connected to the other lead which is passing you know amount of amps through there which that's 200 milliamps which we need to be down way lower than that it's like 25 milliamps is spec that's 200 so we'll see I see it has an aftermarket alarm in it. So, pull that if we were going to open this car door, yeah. we need to hook that negative back up there because we'll wake everything up and blow the meter. That means two meters are down. Yeah, <laughs> then I have to go buy another one. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Oh, here we go. Now it's dropping lower. 150 milliamps. I'm going to let it sit here for a little while. So um, it, you definitely, it's drawing right now, but it needs to sit for a little while for all the modules to fall back asleep. Okay. It sometimes take 10 minutes, 30 minutes. So we're just going to let it sit here for a little while. But I'm going to turn this off until something else happens. All right, so after, it's been what, 15 minutes? You see how that says 0 0.02? Yeah. So that's amps. So one amp would be a uh, 1,000 milliamps. And then, you know, I had point, what was it, point 0.4? Or point, yeah, point 0.4 earlier, which was 400 milliamps. Oh, this just woke up because I pressed on this. Oh, we're going to have to watch it go to sleep again. Um, but it was at 0 0.02 yeah. of an amp. And then it went down, so it went to sleep. Um, I don't I don't think you have a draw. I shouldn't have pressed on that because I clicked one of the relays right now. Whoa. But it'll, it'll go back to sleep in another 15 minutes. But I want to show you. Yeah, yeah. So th this is what it was sitting at earlier. And then it slowly went down, slowly went down. We're going to watch it jump from 0.2 up to 0 0.32, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. It's gonna jump a few times once it's starting to fall asleep in one of the modules. And then after about 15 minutes, that's gonna go back down to zero. So what does that mean? It means you don't have a draw. It means that last battery was bad. Yeah. Well, so this is how you diagnose it? I thought it was a different setup when they do the diagnostic. No, no, you, you can't plug into something like this. You have to, so what I did is I, I connected a wire around the negative terminal and then I connected it to my meter and then I connected a wire to the the or the, yeah the negative part of the battery and the negative terminal of the vehicle and that to the other lead so when I lift it off it's pushing current through these leads and this is measuring how much current is being pulled out and so for sure you had a bad battery before that yeah. battery was a dead cell well, it was new it, man I'm telling you before you can get in there it wasn't going click it, mm -hmm. would, it would sound strong. Mm -hmm. It's wanted to kick over. Then if it, the only way I can do it is put the charger on there, mm -hmm. give it a little bit more juice, and then, then it went. Yeah. So, well, we'll see. So if it screws up again, you're going to check it out again? Because if, oh, if it that's went to not sleep. the freaking <laughs> problem, did I touch something? No, it went to sleep. I yelled at it. Oh, there it goes. It's still going. All right, cool. 
All little kittens. That mom just keeps having kittens. Yeah, there's more walking around there. But yeah, so we'll we'll watch this for the next 15 minutes. Make sure it goes down there, and I won't lean against this again. And <laughs> yeah, because I when I leaned here, it uh, touched the relay, and the relay connected, so it woke itself up a little bit. So you want that thing to go what back down to what zero? Point zero one. Point zero two. So we'll just let it sit and let it do its got. thing until. So I'm saying like if it just starts doing yeah. the same shit again, I mean, how do we figure out the problem? Because I figured if you did the diagnostic, you would be able to figure out the problem. Well, that's that's what I'm doing right now. The the problem that I seen from me showing up yesterday was that battery had a dead cell. Yeah. Now, as you remember, I told you it jumps up and down three to two, three to two, yeah. and then in about five, ten more minutes, that's going to drop back down to zero. That just means the module's uh, sensing, nothing's going on, it's gonna fall asleep. Yeah, but like so, I said, if it starts acting up again... Then I'll come it... back out and diagnose it again for free. Okay. But I just, yeah, after no, no, I, after I test... Doing, dude, so oh, like, even yes. all those, whatever you're telling me, I can't, I don't... I can only tell you... Know the lingo. Yeah, yeah, I can only tell you from my experience, this is what's going on. It's slowly going down more and more and more. Yeah. So in about five minutes, it's gonna drop back down to where it needs to be, and then we're gonna watch it and see what it does. There it goes again. Yeah. And you sit there and the battery sounds strong. Rah, 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 rah. And then sometimes it would start and sometimes it just wouldn't do nothing. Hmm. So it would crank but not turn over. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yep. I thought and it was it coming out because the battery kept dying. No, no, that sounded strong. That's what I said. And then oh. it was like it would never well, I didn't know it that. Strong and it didn't start. It didn't go totally dead till they took it to that dude. But it never went dead. It would always sound strong. Really? Okay. Well, that makes. That's what I that... said. But that was crazy because it still sounded like it wanted to start. But I put the cables on there. They get it a little low, uh -huh. and lo and behold, it started right up. But as soon as you give it a, it a little extra juice. Yeah. So that might have been what messed up the cell because I had constantly was doing it. Yeah. I had to do that to get it to the mechanic. I had to do that to get it back for sure. The mechanic. Yeah, because I was under the impression all we were diagnosing was you could start it, drive it, and then it would die out again. Yeah, no, it and sounded no, strong. no crank. It okay. Strong man, and that's what was. Well, because like, these have a problem with fuel pumps, and they also have a problem with these uh, totally integrated power modules. These fuse boxes. There's internal relays inside of it, and then they kind of burn out. Yeah. Uh, these are expensive, and I replaced hundreds of these. It's the part that's expensive, but I don't, don't even know that, like that run. they were going for like eight, nine hundred dollars before. Dang, that's just the part, right? Yeah. See, that's that's the thing is, I'm testing because it had a no start, no, no crank. It was just yeah. a dead battery. So I'm seeing if there's anything pulling power from it, killing that battery. Now what you're saying is it was cranking but it's not starting so we need to figure that out too. That's yeah. two different issues. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still looking at yesterday's issue. Now all we know is that yeah, it just wouldn't start and I had to put the charger on it. Yep. Give it a little more juice and then it would kick right up. I get it. But we're chasing two issues right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still chasing yesterday's and then once I hook it up, we're going to find out if uh you know fuel pump or something like that because it started every time yesterday with the jump starter yeah yeah so i'm wondering if it sounded strong but it didn't have enough juice yep. to kick everything through How you doing? good morning mobile mechanic yes sir How you doing? good mobile mechanic my name is al hi al your name robert hey robert nice to meet you nice to meet you, you have a business card? i do excellent there you go and a website too or yeah there's a website there's a youtube channel email phone number so Excellent. i need some work done okay yeah. yeah call me we'll schedule something your name again robert robert thank you robert thank you what was that your name on this, yes yeah, yeah. Thank you. i don't know if you can see oh probably not i have a kind of like a a sign out there yeah so that way when we walk past no one really hits us it kind of sticks out a little bit and then i have the cones oh, that's cool. um so advertising it advertises and provides some safety yeah yeah all right so we are going to put this back on
right, so it went to zero because we connected it. Yeah. So now we can disconnect it safely. A little complicated. It is. It looks complicated because you got a bunch of wires everywhere. Yep. But it's really not. Once you know what you're doing. Once you've done it a couple times, it's <laughs> yeah. it's honestly not bad. 12.5 volts. Is that what you're talking about? I'm glad it happened. What's that? <laughs> it's just cranking, it's not starting. Yeah. That's okay, right. so that's our second issue now. <laughs> All right, so we ended up with two issues. So let's see, is the security light on? All right, so now while it's doing this, what I'm gonna do is grab the brake cleaner too. Let's see if we have a fuel issue. We could have a fuel pump issue. All right, so I'm glad that happened to us because now it's just cranking, it won't start. So that's the fuel pump or the fuel pump relay. So we're gonna plug that in in a minute. But I want to see. You can go ahead and hop in the car. Yep. Oh, I need a screwdriver. Well, I'm gonna, don't hop in yet. I'm going to show you what that I'm, I'm going to do. Let's show them how to do this. All right, so. Uh, I'm gonna spray this in there. Go ahead and crank it. I'm gonna, this is gonna. The guy was like, I think he had his earphones on, and he just walks in the yard, and then he runs out barking, eh? and he, that dude almost had a heart attack. I was like, he acted like it was a pit bull. Yeah, it was a little dog. But I don't trust little dogs. The diagrams. Oh. So we hit fuel pump relay, and we'll hit wiring diagrams. So that's the fuel pump. So there's a relay right here. M25 is the fuel pump uh, fuse. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Fuel pump relay, we're gonna click that. Or we're gonna hit component location. Yeah, so it's inside of there. It's right there. Yeah, so that's positive. So you never connect these two together no, unless I can clip it right yes, here. you can clip it there and then tap that end here and you're going to see it light up. This is the only way you'll ever connect these two. So you can connect them like this and check power as long as there's something in between, not just a regular wire. Because a regular wire will melt that real quick. So, okay, see how that works? So now I want you to click those two, the green one. This one here? Just that, yeah. Nothing. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the key on. No, hold it, hold it on this. Don't don't click other ones. Just hold it in that one. Because you have to turn the key on. Did it light up? Check the other side. Is it lit up? All right, so then what you'll do is you'll double check here. Okay, so it does light up. And we're gonna check there, we're gonna check there, nothing. So that's telling us that something is not allowing the fuel pump to kick on. All right. So I want you to listen underneath the where the back tire is. Mm -hmm and tell me if you hear anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that tells us your fuel pump is good. So something is not allowing the relay to kick it on. Whether it's the bad power module here, the totally integrated power module. So that's what it sounds like. 
well the relays inside of the power module like there's no re i know there's relays here but the relay for the fuel pump is on the printed circuit board that is inside of this so there's not there's not much i can do except replace this or i mean that's that's really it the way it works you have a relay here and when you turn your key on that relay clicks over and it's not it's not clicking over powering the fuse when i put my uh wire across and i put power to the fuse your fuel pump kicks on so you have a problem with the relay on the printed circuit board of the totally integrated power module which is that big fuse box that's just what they call it okay so you need one of those um unfortunately they didn't put them external like we can click there and then we can hit component location non-serviceable pcb which means printed circuit board so there's nothing we can do because it's it's down underneath on that circuit board one two let's see if we can get into the tip one hit toggle it's fine it's going you can hear it Okay, you can hear it, but it's not putting any output, so it's burned on the output side of it. Yeah, that thing's burned up inside. All right, you can hit off. All right, we're gonna type this up. Put printer ink in it again, hopefully it prints. <laughs> I gotta do that when I get home. Yeah. Or whenever we try printing, it won't print. Maybe that's why it's been printing so. No, it just hates me. That's just good and bad. You're gonna be the collector. Yep. Got to teach him everything. Got to teach him good customer service. Yeah. People skills. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of the guys that I work with too, they don't like the customer being around. Mm -hmm. Like it's like. Hey, some people. Yeah, some are annoying, but some. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Try to tell you to do your job. Like, yeah, there. I, I personally, I don't mind if someone hangs out and watches. Um, it, it, you know, we can sit there and talk the whole time like we did, and I can show you. Okay, this is what it's doing. This is what I'm finding. Yeah. And you get to be right there and see instead of just it goes in the shop and a random guy says, "Yeah, that's it," because <laughs> you would have replaced the computer, the PCM. Yeah. And that's a what a thousand dollar bill there, and it still wouldn't have started. Okay. So. Right, guys. Hey, man. It was nice you to meet you. All right, we'll see you. All right, that was cool. Got a good diagnosis for my nephew to see. All right, so we got the Ad Auto here, the radio that that company sent out for us. This is the P9. This is their on dash model because it'd be hard to get a radio to fit into there so they sent us the on dash it's pretty cool of them so we're gonna get everything out and see what it takes to get this thing installed see what they got in here and then show you how it works it's pretty neat I've never seen an on dash Kind of makes it easier in this scenario where it goes over that. All right, I got everything out of the packages and it looks like a lot of stuff, but honestly, it's really simple. It's all plug and play. The only thing you'll really need a tool for is this ground wire, which you know, you'll, you'll find like a, a nut somewhere that you can attach this on to the body ground somewhere but I think it comes with these like fuse jumpers and all we are gonna do is pull that fuse put this in here so if you look in the instructions it'll tell you exactly how to do everything but 
you know, you need battery, you need ignition. I have battery and I have ignition. And I have these jumper things, so we're gonna install them. And see how long this takes. I'm gonna time it. Yellow is our 12 volts positive. Red is our ignition positive, which I'm gonna run all that this way. So this this is just super simple, man. Literally just clips right in. Literally just clips right in. No crimping, no soldering, no none of that. I'm gonna stick this. Put this here. And it just literally click it in it locks. This one. Click it in it locks. All right, I plugged in my phone using the cable. So this is what it's giving me. The Apple CarPlay. Alright, so we got all our stuff put away. All that's something else. But the only two wires I have from this or a USB for my phone and an auxiliary because uh, my speakers don't work so we're just going to run this Milwaukee speaker so that's how we're going to listen to everything and you know use our maps and all that so big shout out to at auto for sending us this and again they sent us out a giveaway so stay tuned for that at the end of this video i'll show you or i'll tell you guys how to win this system here um i have another one sitting here ready to go ship so watch till the end of the video and you'll see that and we're gonna finish uh, installing our backup camera and then you'll get you guys will see this and multiple other videos and we're gonna keep this in the truck as long as it works we're keeping it in the truck so pretty cool but, all right let's get back to the video all right thanks to our at auto for getting us here oh this thing's pretty cool man Using the maps and everything. You can play games on there? I don't know. I don't know if there's any games in here. Probably if I had to guess. But alright, we're here back at this grand caravan. How you doing? What was that? The black shirts. Oh, it's every day. Every day? Every day. Alright. So I'm gonna do this real quick and then you can take everything else off. It's not that's off. Take that. Long time no see. Yeah, yeah. A moment of truth, brother. Let's see what that is. And then I'll leave you this one, the old one, to return for the core. Oh, they do give you a core charge. So this tab here? Yeah, take these tabs off. And then there's two on the other side. So you have to press them all at the same time. Okay. Yep. Right, pull it up. This thing's clipped on the side. So take your flathead and that lock gets pushed up. And then there's a tab here. So you have to kind of wiggle this. Mm -hmm and push that up at the oh, same time. So, don't ever pry on anything. So, look and see how it goes in. See how it's that button right there? Yeah. Push that, push and then it slides. And then just wiggle. You should, it's like this. Oh, oh, the button. See, look, Yep. you're gonna press the button and then this moves like that. And then slowly, now you want to pull this slowly as you wiggle. Because 
as you're pulling this. See how it kind of mm -hmm. kind of gets gritty. A bunch of sand and crap gets in there. All right, so now we can set that aside. Now you can put this one in. Hope you remember where they all go. Oh, you should have. I let you do it. So just go in reverse order of what you just did. Now make sure when you're putting it in, you don't bend any pins or anything like that. Remember that one's got a tab also. Mm -hmm. So you want to push that and push in at the same time. And then, and then now seat it in there. So now open that up, put this on. No, don't get shocked. I'm kidding. We have the battery <laughs> disconnected. All right, let's plug the scan tool in it. Hard to hear the fuel pump. We're gonna configure it and then clear the code. I know how to work this in my scan tool now. Okay. I know how to work it. All right. I know how to clear the codes and everything. It runs. <laughs> so far, so good. Yep. Stay that way. I, I heard the fuel pump immediately. Okay. They should just want to see tire rotation and steering angle change. You don't want to go in. All good? All green. Okay. Green. All the grayed out means it doesn't have that module, but everything's good. Right. So, I'll hand you, you the don't keys. hear from us. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I hope I hear from you just on something else. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I hope we built a good enough relationship where you trust my work yeah, yeah. and you trust my diagnosis. Not, I'm not the other guys. I, I know what I'm doing, and I've been doing this long enough. So, right all right, I'm going to print it out, okay. and then uh, I'll bring the credit card machine with me. Yep, I'll come up there so she doesn't have to come out or anything. Because I know it's hot out here. All right. Good job putting that in. It's crazy how you just... Oh, it's that. Yep. All right, that's printing out. So... I got the clipboard and everything. Yep, just don't shut the laptop quite yet. All right, we're ready for you. Yeah, we'll go up there. Hi, polka dog. Busy today? Yep. We just came from Moreno Valley and we got two more here today. Oh, yeah. Brother! I can't walk in with this. Yeah. All right. Battery died while we were in there. I wasn't going to walk out for a battery while we were right her up so it's done all right we're done with that one um the fuel pump relay on the printed circuit board went out so we diagnosed that last week we're just going to add this part into the same video um thursday we worked on it it's monday today so we got that all put in wrote the vin number starts right up drives good so uh, she can get back to it but thank you all for watching like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time so again, thanks to At Auto, 
I've been using it for about a week now. The thing's awesome. Hasn't had any hiccups, any flaws. Definitely love having the navigation and everything with Apple CarPlay. I didn't know it had a speaker built into it, so I haven't even used that Milwaukee speaker that I was going to use. So pretty cool product, uh, very inexpensive. So link in the description, um, check out everything they have, see if it is a fit for you. Uh, giveaway on this, same as all the other ones, quality mobile giveaway at gmail.com. Sorry, I had to look at it. It is 12.32 a.m. Uh, the day you're going to see this, Friday. So, uh, excuse me, being very tired, burning the midnight oil, trying to get this video done. So, quality mobile giveaway at gmail.com. And we're going to do a live. So, we're going to do a live Saturday, August 10th, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Email the... Email me at the email in the description saying that either you're here for the radio, that you've commented on this video, and you'll be entered. And Saturday, August 10th, 4 p.m. Pacific time, we'll do a giveaway just like we've been doing. Don't forget, tomorrow, Saturday, August 3rd, 4 p.m., we're doing the giveaway of that scan tool. So I'll see you all there. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to bed.